Well, hey, we're gonna make a new entrance here, everybody. Just got in from a day, and uh, when I'm outside, do as the Romans do. So I wear my mask, and now I take it off. Welcome to another episode, a different kind of a setting of uh, Band Together Leadership Seminars. I believe this is episode number eight. I'm recording this at night. I usually do it early in the morning, but now I'm doing it at night. Kind of a cool feeling. It's uh, July 21st. It's a Tuesday. And uh, I'm Paul Everts. Used to be a high school band director. Still am a high school band director. Started uh, July the 3rd, 1989. And uh, we just got told last week that we're going to go ahead and start on distance learning. Um, and then I think yesterday, California Interscholastic Federation said, Gonna move sports to January. First day, first game's gonna be January the eighth for football. Yeah. So I gotta tell you, as we're working our way through the E Triangle, my heart is freaking heavy. I'm not joking. You know, I've taught for thirty years. Uh, this will be the thirty-first year teaching. I don't know what's going on. And um, I'm at a loss for words. As I said, we're working on integrity, which is part of the E triangle, which to remind you, this is the E triangle. Respect, responsible, and then discipline, wrapped with faith, integrity, and ethics. And right now we're, we're looking at the integrity. And I'm, and I'm going to be honest, we're going to go probably a little longer than 12 minutes today. Um, so I feel... As I said, heavy. And one of the things that we want to talk about is building integrity in an age of image. And there's definitely an image happening right now, and, and um, it's not good. Did we do enough? We being the adults, we being the teachers, did we, did we go out of our way to figure out how to get the, the children back on campus? I'm 54 years old. I'm fat, high cholesterol, blood pressure's better. And I think it was 117, what is it, 180 over, 120 over 80. So I was 117 over 75 um, when I had my uh, biopsy done for my mole, which is uh, benign. Shout out to my friends that are suffering with cancer. So I... Um, Do we do enough? I'm ready to wear my mask. I'm ready to scrub my hands. I'm ready to do what I need to do to get us back on campus. With that being said, I also want to respect the fact that there are people that are very scared, understandably, that believe that distance learning is necessary right now. And I respect that. So I'm going to do whatever we do. And I'm going to give 10% more. I want the question to be, did we, the teachers, do enough? Be more creative as far as scheduling goes. Twice a week, five days a week. I'm hoping the answer is a solid yes. We did everything we could. So you've probably heard the saying, fake it till you make it. It's actually one of Dr. Maxwell's least favorite sayings. It's a catchy but destructive idea that does more harm than good. And here's why. You cannot truly make it if you don't have integrity. And integrity is the opposite of fake Integrity literally means being whole and undivided, being the same on the inside as you are on the outside. If fake it till you make it is a philosophy that you live by, then you are setting yourself up for failure in the long run. But Dr. Maxwell understands why people have embraced this notion. We live in a culture that rewards image, often over integrity. We promote people who appear to have their act together and encourage others to do the same. 
never mind any warning signs about their character. As long as they look good while they produce, our culture is satisfied. Why is that? Why do we reward image over integrity? The answer is simple. Image is easy. Integrity is hard. Now, don't let the word hard scare you. After all, you undoubtedly know that everything worthwhile is uphill. You understand that it takes discipline and and time to achieve things that are of lasting value. Integrity is the same. Integrity is the sum of all of your decisions over time. When you choose each day to live according to the standards you set for yourself, you build integrity on the inside and in the minds of the people around you. Integrity is essential for a leader because people will not willingly follow someone they cannot trust. And that's where we're at right now with many politicians. We, again, what, is, what you do at home matters, man. It really does. It does. We don't give enough attention to what you're doing on your own time. Seriously. Integrity is essential for a leader because people will not follow someone they cannot trust. And trust is built when you consistently act according to your beliefs. Respect, responsible, discipline, integrity, ethics, faith. When I started doing this, this is uh, number eight. I did, um, I've done six courageous conversations, as corny as that sounds. I've asked six black people to spend time with me. Uh, I believe it's been four males and two females. Because what happened with George Floyd on the 25th of May shook this nation. There was a time that over 90% of us agreed that what happened to him is wrong. Then it went off the rails. And thousands of people hurt. I asked people, what is, what is going on? I think it's a lack of integrity. We're trying to be something we're not. That is what's going on right now. I'm not asking for perfection. I have said it. Go back to episode one eight weeks ago and said, I'm a sinner. I screw up, man. That's why I do this. Because I do it for me first. I need it. And then I'm hoping it helps somebody else. I'm just an average dude, man. Okay? I really am. However... And and my marriage has lasted since 1991. I've had my life threatened. My car window was shot out May of 2008 by some student. I've had threatening emails sent to me. There must be something in my integrity that allows me to get through the next day because I know who I am. I am a man with faults. I don't have any script right now. This is from my heart, everybody. Did we do enough? Peter Drucker called the final requirement of executive leadership his integrity. So how can you make sure you are building your integrity in a culture of image? I'm going to do like one of the three questions. Am I being true to myself? Living with integrity means beginning within. The only person in the world you cannot hide from is you. To be a genuine person, you have to be able to live with yourself and the decisions you make. If your actions would cause you shame or embarrassment, if they were ever found out, 
then you're not being true to yourself and your values. If you feel the need to hide your actions from others, the first person you are deceiving is yourself. Am I being true to my mentor? I'm going to go ahead and get the other two questions. Mentors are people who have chosen to invest in you. They believe in you and your potential. You're shortcutting the process and hurting both yourself and your mentor. And then the final question. Am I being true to my people? I can do that without the notes. Since July 3rd, 1989, I've always thought to myself, am I being true to my students? I, that's a good question. And that's why I'm having a hard time right now with this distance learning. I have to figure out a way to be true to myself and be a good teacher. I'm not doing it from home. I'm telling you that right now, man. I got to get on that campus. Okay? As long as it's safe, I'm getting on that campus and I'm going to do it from campus. I got to. Am I being true to my students? I'm not going to go to school drunk. I'm not going to go to school smelling like poo. Am I being true to my students? People have integrity, expect to be believed. They also know time is on their side and are willing to wait. And Landers. Your integrity is the foundation for lasting achievement. If you build your integrity, success and significance will come and you will be able to enjoy them for a long time. True, 30 years and we've hit a wall. Now we got to get over the wall. I might even need to get through the damn wall, to tell you the truth. So, my heart is heavy. I love my students. The last thing, a couple things I want to remind you why I do these videos is because I hopefully my students are watching. Current, future, and past. The students that have children, I hope you show them these videos and you can say, that's my band director. That's Mr. Everts, man. That's E. How's Mr. E? He would talk to us all the time. He would say, I love you. All the time. So I want to share that. Also, I hear our grandson, Jason, running around because they are here for two weeks. And I want Jason and my other future grandchildren to go, that's my grandpa, man. He's talking about integrity. That's pretty cool. Are you true to yourself? Are you true to the mentor? Are you someone that your mom and dad say, I love you? Are you honoring your mom and dad with integrity? And then are you being true to your people, including your family, your friends, your co-workers? your employees and if not there's time to fix it give me a call I'm at conductingmylife.com my email address b-a-n-d the number two together at comcast.net I'll help you and one reason one reason I will help you is because it's going to help me it's a win-win all right, so as always, I leave you with this. Begin with the end in mind. Who you are through your decisions and your choices. What do you want to have said at your uh, funeral? Seek first to understand and be understood. Ask people how they're feeling. I gave you my heart tonight. I'm feeling low. No football, no marching band. Going to have to get through this now. 
And I ain't going to be all sparkles and, oh, yeah, here we go. No. I figure it out. I'm down right now. And then the last thing, of course, is people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I care about you very much. It's one reason why I wear the mask. Okay. I know it's a controversial thing, but I'm going to do it because I'm doing the best I can. And I am doing the best I can. And the third time, I'm doing the best I can. I hope you are too. Have a great day.